What's up and welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip Tech. Today we're talking about the Asus ProArt PZ14, which is perfect for artists and content creators who are looking for a tablet to take with them on the go, especially if you value productivity and performance well on battery life. Now I gotta give a huge shout out and thank you to Asus for sponsoring my trip out to CES. They don't have any control over the content of this video and they're not even reviewing it before I post it. And I wanna make it clear that no brand has control over my content and I always strive to be as authentic and honest as possible. And that's why I love working with Asus because they don't try to control me. So big shout out and thank you to them. Now MacBooks in the past have theoretically really dominated this space and the advent of the Qualcomm Snapdragon processors have made Windows laptops very competitive. Now you can actually edit videos, draw, use Photoshop, do a lot of moderately heavy productivity tasks without killing your battery life very quickly. And this ProArt PZ14 is gonna be perfect. Plus it has MPP 2.6 stylus support with 4,000 levels of pressure and Asus Pen 3.0 that magnetically attaches to the rear of the tablet and automatically charges. The case even includes a little cubby to ensure the pen doesn't come free and get lost during transport, which I thought was just really smart and a really cool design. The fact that it's a large 14 inch tablet, it still only weighs 1.74 pounds and it's designed from the ground up to be used as a regular laptop with its integrated keyboard and the case includes a built-in kickstand so that you can prop it up like a laptop either horizontally or vertically with the keyboard detached if you prefer a vertical aspect ratio. The pen includes haptic feedback and brush sound effects. I wasn't able to test this at CES plus the show floor was just so loud. The really cool thing about the PZ14 is that this is driven by the Qualcomm Snapdragon X2 Elite with 18 cores and up to 25 watts of power on a 75 watt hour battery. So even when under heavy load, like maxing out that 25 watts, you're still gonna get at least three hours of that ultra high level of performance. Now, the great thing about the Snapdragon X2 Elite processor is that it's based on the ARM architecture. And this is just much more power efficient than traditional Intel x86 CPUs. The only exception to this is if you're gonna to need to go through a translation layer to run a traditional x86 application. And that's when the battery life and performance and reliability of apps is just not gonna be as good as a traditional Windows laptop. So the main thing you gotta keep in mind buying a Snapdragon X2 Elite laptop is app compatibility. You really want all of your apps to be natively supported on the ARM architecture. As calculated by Microsoft, the Snapdragon processor covers 93% of the total used app minutes that people spend. So the vast majority of applications have a natively ARM-based version. That includes Premiere, Photoshop, DaVinci Resolve, many different types of games and productivity apps, as well as entertainment apps like Spotify, Netflix, and GIMP. So before going into this purchase, I recommend heading on over to Windows on ARM. And here they have a list of tons and tons of different applications that you can search through and see if it's natively supported, if it's emulated supported, or if it's just not gonna work at all for you. For example, certain games are just not gonna run and other games are gonna run natively. And if they run natively, it's actually gonna probably play pretty dang well. So I'll throw a link down below for you to verify that your apps are supported. So this X2 Elite processor comes with an Adreno GPU and it should be capable of handling all your basic GPU needs, including accelerating your content creation apps to ensure fast video rendering and running basic animations. Now the PZ14 includes two high-speed USB 4 Type-C connections. And the great thing about USB 4 is that it's a very high throughput connection. This is gonna allow you to transfer files in and out or hook it up to a USB-C powered Thunderbolt 4 or USB 4 dock and this is gonna allow you to have a whole desktop setup when you get back home. You just plug in one cable and you've got your monitor, your keyboard, your mouse, and any other accessories that you need running off that one cable alone. Now the screen features 88% screen to body ratio, which is really, really good. And this is Asus's latest Lumina Pro OLED with 2880 by 1800, 144 Hertz touch enabled screen and this goes up to a thousand nits peak brightness with 500 nits sustained and it's got hundred percent of the p3 color gamut which is going to be perfect for content creation and just enjoying beautiful visuals on the display 
Now, as far as gaming goes, the X2 Elite processor is not known as a gaming processor, but you can certainly game on it with a bunch of casual games. The X2 Elite Extreme version, which is featured in the ZenBook A16, is going to be significantly more powerful in the GPU department, but as long as the game is ARM compatible or has a good emulation, many different games will be playable from 30 to 60 FPS. The PZ14 features Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 6.0, and the front-facing IR camera is a whopping 8 megapixels and supports Windows Hello. The rear camera is a 13 megapixel and supports 4K video recording. Now, I didn't get to test these cameras out, but those are some pretty high-resolution cameras for a Windows PC. Overall, this tablet seems like it's going to be a really good option for artists and content creators on the go, or honestly, if you just want to have an awesome Windows-based ARM tablet, this thing is going to be really, really great for watching movies and just enjoying using a laptop for email and Netflix or whatever you want to use it for. That said, battery-powered content creation is like the coup de grace, is the best thing that this tablet is going to be really, really good at. And having that excellent stylus support means artists finally have an amazing ARM-based tablet that they can take with them on the go and have a great drawing experience. As I mentioned before, this tablet has one major caveat, and that is application support. So just be sure that your applications are going to work with this before you buy it. Or if you just want to go ahead and pull the trigger, make sure you buy it from a retailer that has a generous return policy in case your core applications are not compatible. Overall, I think this Snapdragon powered tablet are going to make a lot of artists and content creators really happy. So that's it for this video. If you're interested in more pro art content, be sure to check out the pro art PX 13. This thing is an amazing two in one reversible pro art laptop with the Strix Halo 16 cores, 32 threads up to 128 gigs of memory. It's crazy. Definitely go check out that laptop video next. We'll see you in the next one. Brandon out.